Welcome back to the channel guys. So today I'm going to change out the sway bar bushes on the front of the car. These are the bushes here. You know, you can move the... Move the sway bar up and, up and down. It's supposed to be nice and tight. So this, this car gets quite, it's quite rolly going around, um, well, particularly around corners, particularly roundabouts. And this this bush at the, at the rear on the right side is actually migrating out of the housing so i wouldn't be surprised if these are the originals and they're just worn um and this is the left hand side of the car i thought these ones are actually okay but yeah we've got movement in there as well they're just worn out so we need to get this off I've got some new bushes for it. Um, I might even give this a paint. You can see it used to be black originally, but the paint's all worn off over the years. So we could give that a quick touch up. Maybe give these these housings a, a little touch up as well. You know, that'll make it go faster. Right. Get these um, get these nuts off, and then. Um, go from there I am trying to do this without jacking the car up, of course, so I might just have to get it up on jack stands. jacked up get the wheel off because I cannot get that out yeah so um the head of the bolt is right by the spring or bottom of the spring um and I can't get a socket in uh which is a bit of a pain oh maybe I could use the spanner oh yes These have actually, I mean, they're shrunk anyway. The whole, all the bushes are shrunk. But yeah, they're worn out. So we'll give this a clean. We'll give this a quick clean up. Um, still considering whether I should paint it. We'll clean all these housings for the bushings. Yeah, so you can see here, that's the old bushing. And this is the new bushing. So that is 19 mil. I've just checked it. It's going to be tight getting it onto the getting it onto the bar, but we'll we'll, we'll get it on. We'll um might have to um, get some silicone spray on on there, and once we get it in, we'll just it's just getting it over here, which will be which will be fun, interesting. 
because she's pretty tight but they're supposed to be tight so yeah it's a major wearage on these ones right so i've cleaned up the sway bar and put some i just put some engine paint on it um just to protect it um and just sort of tidies it up a little bit and i've also done the same for the clamps i've got the bushes sitting out in the sun to heat up to soften those up because the bar is 19 millimeters and the bushes are 19 millimeters yeah okay so that's all prepped now Okay, so the issue is going to be trying to get this bushing cap housing thing, whatever you, how you want to call it, around to here. Okay, guys. <clears throat> well, we're day two. Um, into sorting out this uh, sway bar um, I spent hours yesterday fighting to get this back on the car the bushes are just a slightly different shape um, I mean these are obviously these are obviously worn um, inside but also on the outside but these are just too big yeah see so even though this is worn it does you know it sits in and you can see there's a gap you know there's 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 play in the bush but when you go to put this one in it'll go in but it's incredibly tight and it's just not enough give to bring this around to then bolt in. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to re I'm going to have to reshape this, reshape the bush. So I'm going to have to take some off the sides and probably a bit off the bottoms. Take these corners off. <clears throat> yeah, square these sides up a bit because you can see that they're not actually like the original shape, the original shape are more sort of square and this is more sort of wagon shaped if that's the right term to use um, so I probably need to take some off the top and take some off the sides okay so I managed to file down uh, two of the bushes and um, they, they do fit um, just I had to be quite careful and take it down too far um, but yeah that's a, that's a good size it just they just need a little bit of compression to um, to make the uh, bush fit yeah, I've just got this side to do now it may be that I, I yeah hope hope I mean the bar isn't in there so hopefully once the bars in it shouldn't make too much of a difference um, in terms of uh, compressing in the the bush right guys well we're back about a week later now um, I've been slowly working on getting filing these bushes into shape just using a hand file um, I don't have a, a like a, a belt sander or a grinder or anything so I've just sort of had to do it all by by hand but I managed to get the the right hand bushes in um, basically what I needed to do I was trying to install the bushes with the car up on jack stands and um, it just wasn't working so I lowered the car down and um, by doing that it pulls in the end of the um, sway bar into the control arm so if you need to do this install the um, sway bar with the car on the ground it is a little bit tricky obviously because you don't have as much space but it certainly um, is what worked for me um, 
I found it was easier just to install the old bushes. Um, so I had the old bushes installed on this side, so then I could um, then replace the bushes on this side. So I've got these ones installed. I've got the old bushes off. I've got the I've got the old bushes off on this side, and I'm just filing those down to size, and then I'll troll fit them. And um, you can see how much it has to be pulled in, but yeah. That'll work. Yeah, so it's just it's just a matter of you know filing them down with a hand file to sort of get them down. Once you put the bush onto the bar, of course this this space increases and 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 um, presses out the rubber. So yeah, it's, it's there's a lot of trial and error in fitting these. In some respects, it would have been easy just to order the polyurethane bushes because they're all set they're all um, made to size but it's okay you just have to keep filing you just want to make sure that this just slides in it doesn't press out the side of the um, the, the bracket because this needs to be this needs to be um, pulled in once the bars in all right, guys. Well, we've managed. I've managed to get these last two bushes in. Uh, there was a bit more filing I had to do, but finally they're in. I've managed to tighten up this one and this one, but I've got to jack the car up to get the end ones tightened up because I can't. Um, I can't tighten the bolt. Yeah, okay, so I ended up jacking the car up. Um, so that, that end bush is all being tightened up now. And, oh, that's such a big difference. There's absolutely no movement there in that sway bar. And I'm putting quite a bit of force on that. Oh, that is fantastic. That's going to make a big difference to how this, how this car handles. Uh, right, let's get that other side sorted and we can get the car out for a drive. The fun part, taking it for a test drive. So the test will be really how it handles going around roundabouts. So before I replace the bushes, I felt like the car was going to tip over. Like you have to be really careful uh, going around roundabouts. Um, so hopefully this has made an improvement. Are 
like nice and cool as well since we uh, overhauled the cooling system. I loosened off the, um, the generator, the generator belt. It was, it was just a little bit too tight. Um, so I don't want to wear out the bearing on the generator or on the water pump. Slacken that off a little bit. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.